Hey, it's Angelo from Serafino. And today we're talking about olive oil. These are my family's roots. This is Oliera San Giorgio by the Fratelli Fazri, which are five brothers who basically founded this company in uh, 1940. And that's where they begin the commercial organization of harvesting, extracting olive oil, and later on came the bottling. Where to begin? This has been the cornerstone of our business. Olive oil has literally transformed my life. Basically understanding all the uh, intricacies everything that has to do every, from growing of the olive to the extracting of the olive and probably more importantly to marketing this product. Mainly because it's a really corrupt, scandalous industry, <laughs> which uh, I didn't realize until I got into it. So <clears throat> when we started bringing in our olive oil, so. This is the beginning of Serafino. This, this is it right here. Well, actually, it was two different olive oils, um, three different olive oils. And then along came new family members. It, it was the biggest challenge. And, I, and really, if we had known what was sort of involved, and maybe we wouldn't have taken that plunge of, you know, working at this industry because it's, it has been, it's extremely rewarding but it's been, well, challenging like many other businesses and small businesses. So bringing something like this olive oil to market uh, took a lot of education. And that's what also shaped our company is that uh, we're, we're not here to sell you anything. In fact, we don't even use those words, but it's just to inform you about what we know, and then you can make your own informed decision. So without getting into too much of the behind the scenes, uh, political, uh, yeah, corrupt sort of stuff that happens in the industry, it, it, it is important to know and to do your own research when it comes to any food products, especially especially olive oil. It's, it, it, it's something that actually has a high value and something that can be incredibly good for you it can be it's can be deemed as medicine so if it's if it's not what it is if you're not buying what you think is olive oil then you're you know you're doing yourself more damage than any good so we'll begin with the olive oils themselves here you'll see the full collection of what Oliera San Giorgio produces, which again are my cousins in the most southern region on the Italian peninsula, which is Calabria, in the province of Reggio, and in the town of San Giorgio Morgeto. First off, virgin olive oil. Not extra virgin, but virgin. And as far as I know, this is the only virgin olive oil uh, that is being marketed here in Canada. I could be wrong. I haven't seen one in many years. If you need to know what the difference is between virgin and extra virgin, you just check out our website. We've got all those definitions, but basically it's that later harvest and produced the same way. So this is a blend of three different olives, Caralea, Ottobratica, and Sinopolese, which is actually the same as the Aspro or the Aspro Montano extra virgin. It's the same blend of three olives. The virgin olive oil is what we use for all our cooking, baking, frying, sauteing, and marinating. It's your general purpose all around, good for just about anything. I mean, you can use it raw as you would extra virgin, uh, or you can do all your cooking with it as well. So again, virgin olive oil, on the label here, it's single estate, ideal for cooking and baking. The family is Fratelli Fazzeri, made in Italy. Those are the three olives on the back. 
This is the address where it's harvested, coal extracted and bottled in the region of Calabria. Virgin olive oil. Uh, we've, we need to do a video, I guess, on cooking and baking, but olive oil, there's a lot of controversy behind it, which, again, you have to do your own research and figure out you know, where this information is coming from, because if it's, you know, if it's information that's coming from a certain source that obviously has its own interests, then uh, the information could be skewed. So our information uh, comes from sources, universities, professors, doctors based in the Mediterranean where olive oil is produced and created and where they have universities and, and departments of universities dedicated towards this ancient food that's been around for thousands of years and it's been in the human diet for thousands of years so all of a sudden you know it's come up in the last few years where it's like oh no you shouldn't be cooking with olive oil it's bad for you it has low smoke points and you know there's so many variables involved there and what olive oils are they testing and uh, what what qualities are they using you know is it generic brands is it this quality uh, yeah, anyways, we'll move on to Aspromontano Extra Virgin, or the short form. We've sort of taken the, a shorter version to market this product, but Aspro, which actually means white in Greek. So a lot of people are, are um, unfamiliar with sort of the history of the very south of, uh, of Italy and Calabria was actually colonized by the Greeks. So, um, you know, we could say that I feel like I'm more Greek than I am Roman ancestry, but we have uh, the the Greeks when they came over. I guess there's a few mountains, the Aspromonti Mountains in Calabria, where they're high enough where you find snow on them. So they were white, uh, so they got the white mountain name. The Aspro, as I mentioned, is a blend of three olives, and it is our first extra virgin. It's our most versatile, and almost our well, it, it's our most popular one. I would say if it's if I had to recommend and if you've never tried our olive oils first this is this is the one that I recommend that you you try first it's sort of like that entry level uh, where it's going to like sort of satisfy most palates that I've ever come across um, yeah and it's more balanced flavor and you, but you still get enough of that um, you know buttery texture and it's got a herbaceous base to it you know, it's sweet almond, it's got a little bit of apple notes as well, so it's just got a very approachable flavor, and it just works well with just about all dishes, but if we had to make a few recommendations, then you would have, uh, you know, things like pizza or popcorn. It goes really well with popcorn. Um, caprese salad, soft cheeses, things like that. But again, our rule is like there's no rules. You taste them, I and mean, first thing, to just taste them on their own and then discover what it is that you like about that flavor and then start pairing it up with many dishes. On to Mauro. So Mauro is a blend of four different olives uh, and it's it happens to be certified organic and reason being is that it's actually a completely separate grove from where a lot of our olives uh, come from but it's a, just a higher at a much higher elevation. So getting this particular product uh, certified was also a lot easier because it's completely secluded. Nothing but you know, surrounded by mother nature. It's just up in the mountains in the very south of Italy where there's no industry uh, except agriculture. So this is a, a really magical place where these olives come from. Uh, it's, it's a, it used to be an older corkwood sort of forest up there but there is some older olive trees as well so being a blend of four different types of olives you get layers of flavor and for any of you wine drinkers out there it sort of works the same way when you're creating a wine uh, or olive oil you know the, the different olives and the, the whole blending the art of blending uh, creates a completely different flavor complexity you know mouthfeel body type so Cataleo, Tabratica, Sinopolese, and Roginella, which are uh, the typical cultivars from our, our area and you know, indigenous species. 
Uh, it goes, pairs well with, uh, you could say a little more robust dishes, but uh, we like to suggest uh, certain types of like, you know, bean salads, you know, it's on s steamed veggies, goes well with grilled meats, you know, shellfish, and on ice cream too. If you haven't had tried a, a good olive oil, real olive oil on ice cream, I'd go for this one, whether it's I kind of like chocolate or, you know, maybe even a fruit ice cream. And it just, what olive oil does is it enhances flavors of the food that you're putting it on. So yes, it, it adds a flavor. Uh, when it comes to tasting olive oil, I always say like, try some, if you're having a soup, yes, olive oil can go in a soup. You got your vegetable soup, tomato soup, barley soup, uh, you know, even beef stock. Try try without first, have a couple spoonfuls and then drizzle some olive oil on top and you'll be amazed. Next, we're going into uh, Alta. This is uh, one of our newest olive oils, which is a blend of five olives. You got the Cataleo Tabratica, uh, Roginella and the Cicciarello. This olive oil is certified IGP, even though they're all coming from the same area, same grove, same family, it's all single estate but we just got another designation on a label just to bring a little more credibility and value to our products. Uh, this olive oil is uh, suitable for again, many different types of dishes and it's getting to be a little more intense. So basically the more olive varietals you add to an olive oil, uh, the more complexity you're adding and, and potentially more body to the to the oil and generally speaking these olive oils are on the light to medium fruit intensity uh, so this this to be gets, gets to have a little more fruitiness to it uh, a little more flavor that uh, can can certain palates will you know pick up certain f olives more than others uh, so again this is something that goes well in in soups you know bitter greens uh, certain types of salads and steamed vegetables or roasted vegetables, seafood. Like I, I continually try many different olive oils just on different types of dishes. So I may have a couple of bottles open or I might just be sticking with one that I've sort of fond of and just play with it for you know a couple of weeks because basically an olive oil uh, 500 ml bottle will, will last me a couple of weeks, but I use it obviously in, in many different things from morning till night, whether it's lemon water, uh, in my green juices, every single meal I have, it's basically going on there. Sometimes it is a meal. Next we have Otto Bratica, uh, or Otto. It's a single varietal. It's our, it's our only olive oil that's made from a mono cultivar which Ottobratica is like our signature varietal. It's, it's an ancient cultivar. Uh, it could date back as far as 3,000 years old. This tree, as well as the Sinopolesi tree, are the largest olive trees in the world. We have, for those of you who've seen olive trees, they're more like an apple or a cherry tree. They're more like a smaller uh, type of bush tree, but these are magnificent. They can grow to be fairly magnificent, but with the t pruning style that we have uh, implemented in the last 70, 80, 100 years, then we're keeping the trees at a manageable level because when they get too big, it's harder to harvest olives from. So this single varietal, uh, I mean, a lot of these have won awards, but this is this is continually winning awards because I mean, we the more awards or the more competitions you place it in, the more awards you win, but this is uh, Flossole. Uh, it was awarded as the best mono cultivar uh, which Flossole is basically the end-all, be-all. It's kind of like the olive oil uh, guide for the entire world. Uh, so the, yeah, the single varietal. I mean, this is, this is an olive oil that I exclusively use on my skin and many other dishes, of course, but there's a, a distinct bitterness to this olive oil. You get um, artichoke, bitter banana. It has a really clean spice to it with like a hint of almond in the background and yeah you get that nice bite uh, that you want in any type of 
olive oil. There should always be either bitter or spicy or a balance of bitter and spicy at the back of the throat, which is super important. So you get a lot of that in this otto pratica. Otto pratico, otto, which is eight. People often ask me, hey, how come that's, they, they recognize the wording as, you know, in Italian, it means eight. Well, it's ot ottobre is the month of October, and this is uh, what this olive cultivar was named after because it was a varietal that was harvested in the eighth month, which used to be October before a couple of Roman emperors added their own months in, in July and August and bumped the, the months around. Yeah, this is, uh, I got to say, this is the most important olive oil in my life. It's not the one I you know, go to all the time. I use several different olive oils, but it's if I had to be stuck with one on, a, on an island, this would be the one. I use it everywhere, including on my skin. Um, yeah, depending on the season. I'm using this, uh, you know, it really brings tomatoes to life. You know, bitter greens, if you're a fan of arugula, it goes great with anything where you, you, you have like those hints of bitterness. This just sort of plays with it, highlights it without, yeah, it makes it pl a pleasant experience. Moving on, Miku. That's the founder, Domenico Fazzeri, who was born in 1906. So we've uh, dedicated this olive oil to him. He was the really the one who established, you know, rented the first mill and got the company up and running. Uh, basically, in this olive oil, you'll find his two favorite olives varietals, which are Ottobratica in Casanese. This olive oil is a, it's fairly exclusive. There's only 1,906 uh, bottles that are produced every year. So every, uh, on the back of every label, you'll have the bottle number. And this guy here is a little more intense. Uh, there's a nice balance of bitter and spicy. Uh, you got mountain herbs. Uh, it's, it's like green, you got the little of the grass notes to it as well. Uh, and then there's also some sweetness of almond and um, some, some nuts in there. And then you get that nice balance of bitter and spice at the end. We have talked about labels before, but I'm gonna quickly go through a label here. Made in Italy, not imported from, not packed in, not bottled, made in from this family, most important piece of information you'll find on the label. Extra virgin olive oil, single estate, that's the name of the producer, Oliada San Giorgio. The back of the bottle, you should always find the olive varietal or on the front. Harvested, cold extracted and bottled in Calabria, that's the address of Oliada San Giorgio. Nutrition facts, uh, this is one organization that we belong to, Cooperazione dei Mastri Olieri. There's a best before date and a lot number. So that's a, a label from our family's olive oil. So that's it. That's the rundown of uh, the six different olive oils that we produce. So you don't see all the varieties of uh, different sizes that we have, but these are the standard size, most of which are coming in the half liter. The Virgin, the Aspro, and the Otto come in 750. This is extremely limited edition. Uh, so you have the 500 and just some 100 mils that we have uh, sparingly that we get. And then there's some 100 mils, which also are included in our Family Roots gift pack, which holds four different varieties. And then the Aspro, Montano, Extra Virgin, and the Virgin also come in 5 liter format. And no bigger than that. That's our olive oil tasting glass. And that is basically it for our collection of Oliara San Giorgio extra virgin olive oil, the founding, the foundation of Serafino. It's our cornerstone. This is where this is where it all started. And so I've been almost in the olive oil industry for almost 20 years. And you know I've picked a couple of olives, not many, but I've had the joy and delight of working in such a um, exciting fast it's a fast changing industry and it's evolved 
uh, so much from when I started. And that's, you know, something to know about olive oil is what it was 20, 30 years ago is like the, the, the quality has changed so much and the polyphenol levels or the antioxidant levels have uh, gotten even higher than they ever were. Uh, and the, you know, the organoleptic analysis and the flavor profile has been something that has also just increased. So you're getting more aromatic and more flavorful olive oils than, than we have in, in the history of olive oil production, which could be eight to 10,000 years, if not even longer. The, a big, a lot of questions we get, or one of the main questions is, you know, what's the difference between cold pressed or cold extracted? And, you know, a lot of people look for that cold pressed. None of these are actually uh, pressed using an old method. These are all centrifuge extraction, which is cold, it's modern, it's quick, it's clean, it's temper con controlled. Everything about it is, is, is controlled. So you have the timing is of the essence when you're taking olive and turning it uh, into oil. What press is of extremely labor intensive and it's exposed to uh, more of the, the elements. There's light, there's air, and it's more heat because you're dealing with pressure. Whereas a centrifuge system is all enclosed, you actually don't even get to see the workings of uh, the olive turning into paste and then into centrifuge system to two phase, both horizontal and vertical. We don't actually get to see that until the oil comes out the other end. So it's, there are completely different processes and all the producer, all the olive oil producers that we work with, they're strictly using centrifuge systems and that's just where you're going to get the best quality you can possibly get. By the way, if you're wondering, this just isn't uh, a prop or a candle votive sitting on the table here. It's, it's an interesting shaped glass. It's a wonderful uh, cobalt blue color. And it's actually a certified official weight, color, size of an olive oil tasting glass, which I was had the privilege of learning how to properly use and I became a certified taster. So if you wanna know more about it and how to taste olive oil, check out our video on how to taste olive oil. Salute. Ultimately, learning to taste olive oil is so that you know what a good olive oil tastes like and which olive oils you prefer. And then just like a wine sommelier, uh, what they do with wine, they're able to you know, depict the flavors and notes and the, the, the characteristics of a wine. Well, olive oil uh, taster does the same thing. So it just helps you understand the quality and what it is that you like and you know how you could pair that olive oil. So if, uh, if you are into drinking wine and you can pick out the flavors in wine, then olive, olive oil tasting might be for you. All of you. Well, thank you for all of your attention. This is, uh, this is my, my life. This is what I've basically dedicated the last 20 years of my life to. And I didn't, uh, I didn't think it would take up as much of my time as it has, but, uh, I'm, I'm grateful to what it has done for my life and to the support that, uh, we've received from our family. And of course, all, all of you out there that, uh, are consumers of this product were extremely grateful. Uh, and of course you're, uh, you're in tune with what it is that you're putting into your body. I mean, there is a difference between what we have here on the table and what you're going to find in, you know, grocery store shelves. There's, there's definitely a difference. And I really do hope you get to uh, get a chance to experience that difference. So thanks for watching. And we will have the pleasure of informing you of more olive oils next time. All of you.